Welcome to a new In The Mail, the series that will touch both your passion for electronics and your bank account at the same time. And we're gonna start with this pocket multimeter. It's the Mass Tool MT77. Let's get it out of the box. As you can see, it's a small form factor, but not as small as the other pocket multimeters uh, that I've shown on the vlog before. Uh, it's very thin and it has this uh, large uh, screen to body ratio but let's see if they included batteries and yes it appears they have included uh, batteries with this uh, meter it runs on two CR2032 batteries they claim uh, through RMS functionality and uh, CAT3 300 volts rating this is a 6000 count automatic multimeter, meaning it will auto detect the uh, uh, measurement uh, you're doing. However, it can only measure AC or DC volts, frequency, resistance, uh, uh, resistance and continuity. This might or might not be useful uh, depending on what you need. Uh, but as a secondary function, it also has uh, non-contact voltage detection and of course, uh, a uh, flashlight on the back because uh, why not uh, Chinese designers seem to uh, like flashlights and they like uh, placing these on everything this video is sponsored by jlcpcb.com who recently upgraded their offer so you now get 24 hours turnaround time and you can choose any solar mass color for the same price of just two dollars Prototyping is now faster and cheaper, so it's definitely worth checking them out. The probes feel decent enough. Uh, actually, they feel better than the other pocket multimeters I've reviewed, at least the cheap ones. And the uh, ratings on the probe themselves coincide with the ratings on the wires and on the multimeter. It's the same CAT3, 300 volts. Uh, the wire is uh, 22 AWG and we have some uh, markings on the wire it's rated for 1000 volt ac 1.2 kilovolt dc uh, up to 90 degrees celsius so this is pvc this is not silicon insulation but still good enough for this type of uh, uh, multimeter when measuring ac voltage the meter will show the uh, frequency on the uh, bottom side of the display and you also get a bar graph display that doesn't really make a lot of sense to me but um, overall it feels like they could have done so much more with the, this type of dual display so I might test and review this in a future video to compare it against the other pocket meters I have next up I ordered two more surface mount battery sockets for 18650 cells I used one of these in Voltlog 240 when I assembled the ESP32 based PIR sensor board. I plan to build a second revision of that board where I improve the circuit and fix some errors. So let me know in the comments below if that topic would be of interest to you. In any case, these are some decent battery sockets that you can use for surface mount assembly. And it's relatively easy to slide the battery in and out so they're easy to use and inexpensive. Check out the link for this in the description below the video. Next up I got some accessories for my bike. So this big uh, plastic gadget is a tool for chain cleaning. This thing has a, a bunch of brushes inside and you're supposed to run the chain through these. Uh, you add some cleaning solvent in here and while running the chain through these uh, brushes it should come out clean at the other end after a couple of runs. I did not get any special chain cleaning liquid but I'm wondering if I could use some automotive engine cleaner because I have some of those, some of that and uh, maybe you know more about uh, this about chain cleaning and you can let me know in the comments below if I can use that. I also got these uh, two uh, brushes which uh, might help with uh, cleaning the sprockets and uh, this is a, a, a chain wear indicator tool and I haven't used something like this before but I'm guessing this needs to fit between the chain links and if it doesn't it means the chain has uh, stretched and maybe it's uh, it's time to change it with a new one. I also got one of these uh, bike uh, 
uh, prying tools for fixing a flat tire and it's nice that inside of these uh, they also included uh, some small uh, patches and you also have this uh, grinding tool which should help with fixing a, a flat tire. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll ever use this, if I'll ever fix a flat tire with one of these because I mainly ride in the city so I could easily return home with a flat tire um, or if I go somewhere else to ride I could pack a, a spare tire in my bag so that would be easier than trying to fix it. And finally I wanted to try out uh, a small mirror like this. I must say it looks very foggy but uh, I think it has some kind of protection film I need to remove. And yes it looks uh, uh, so much better now with the uh, protection film removed. I got all of these accessories for uh, less than $10 delivered from the same seller on AliExpress so they were all delivered inside the same package. I think that's a pretty good deal. Next up I got something which is also non-electronics related but I'm sure someone could think of a way to integrate some electronics into these uh, a pair of vintage motorcycle goggles. They look really nice and I could imagine someone integrating uh, something as basic as LED lights or something more advanced like some OLED screens into these goggles. They are quite a large size so if you have a small head they might not fit very well. They have this kind of leather imitation finish but they're still not a comfortable fit on my face. And I'll overlay a picture of me wearing these just for your amusement. You can find these in a variety of colors and different lenses so check out the links to this in the description below the video. Next up here is something I can't easily find in the hardware stores around here. Uh, these are scraper blades and uh, they're basically single-sided razor blades with a, uh, a small handle which you can grab. So I ordered a set of these from AliExpress fairly inexpensive with free shipping. Now I'm curious as to how sharp these are so I'm gonna try them on this uh, piece of paper but first let me figure out how you're supposed to uncover these. So this is how they look. Let's see how sharp they are. Yep that's uh, sharp enough for what I'm gonna use them. They do come individually wrapped so I would assume these are new and pretty clean but still you wouldn't want to cut yourself uh, with one of these uh, blades coming from who knows where. In Vollog uh, 242 I showed this kit of silicon wire. It's 26 AWG thickness and it contains six different colors and upon closer inspection each wire had seven individual strands of copper. And then someone recommended in the comments that I should get the 26AWG silicon wire with 30 strands of 0.08mm inside. And the reason is obvious, it should be more flexible and it should have more current carrying capability. And so I've ordered these from a seller that was advertising as 30 strands into 26AWG wire size. And if we take a closer look in this picture, uh, we can see if the product descri description was honest and yes they weren't lying this wire indeed has 30 independent strands um, and I can tell you that it just feels a bit softer uh, from uh, when compared to the ones from the kit and uh, yes I guess it's it's confirmed if you have more strands more thinner strands in the wire it makes it more flexible. If you want to get the higher quality then it's best to order it like this individually from a seller that uh, specifically tells you that it's 30 strands. If you don't care about the number of strands or how flexible the wire is then you could go for the kit. I'll put a link below to the seller where I got these with 30 strands. Next I got one of these contour duplicator tools and I saw one being used somewhere for getting the contour of a multi-edge corner and although I don't do that kind of work here in the lab it seems interesting because I can remember one or two situations where something like this would have helped to transfer a shape before cutting into a cardboard or, or 
plywood or something similar so this has multiple sliding pieces on this tool and uh, it will take the uh, contour of the piece you are interested in something like this and now you can place the tool over a piece of uh, paper and trace this uh, contour out I've also seen something like this being used in car body repair shops to compare or copy the contour from a known good panel. Next I have a compact microphone and preamp module and you can kind of see the uh, small microphone at the, this end of the tube and inside of here we have a small PCB uh, with an op amp uh, to act as preamp for this microphone. And we got three wires and it's very little info provided by the seller except the wiring diagram that shows a 12 volt, 12 volt input voltage via these two wires and the output via the white wire. It seems these are designed for CCTV recording systems where you also want an audio recording and maybe you have an external audio input where you can connect this. This is fairly inexpensive and you can probably use this in any project where you need a microphone audio input but there is no adjustment to the level I've shown in previous mailbags there are modules with also have, which also have a potentiometer so you can adjust the gain on the uh, microphone. Anyway a link to this will be provided in the description below the video. Next I have a roll of battery insulating tape that's how they advertise this and uh, they even show a picture of this tape covering the ends of a battery pack made with 18650 cells. It's basically the ends where you have the spot welting tabs are covered and insulated with this type of tape which besides from its thickness of 0.2 millimeters they don't give you any other spec. And honestly I'm not sure this is something else other than some thick paper with double sided adhesive. It might be some fire retardant paper but I'm not sure. It does have this uh, slight green tint on the surface and I have found something similar in battery packs that I've taken apart in the past but once again there is no confirmation I'm not certain this is anything more than some paper with double sided adhesive. If you know more about this then please let me know in the comments below the video. Next I ordered some 26 AWG silver wire but with Teflon insulation and this was about $5 for 5 meters and I suppose the uh, silver keyword is referring to the color and not to the actual plating of the wires because normally uh, silver plated wires are more expensive uh, but I suspect this is still tinned copper inside. It's slightly more expensive than the typical silicon wire but uh, Teflon is supposed to have some advantages like high dielectric strength which means you can have a wire which is Teflon coated withstand a higher voltage with uh, thinner insulation. For example this one is rated for 600 volts and it, it's just 0.85 millimeters outside diameter. Uh, Teflon coated wires are also generally unaffected by exposure to moisture, humidity, UV and liquid and they are generally rated for higher working temperatures making them ideal for usage in extreme conditions and military applications where there are high temperatures, uh, vibrations and chemicals present. At the hobby level you might not get to take advantage of all of those properties uh, but they still look nice and you will get thinner and nicer wires in your project by using this kind of wire. So I think it's worth checking out this uh, Teflon coated wire. And also from the uh, same seller I ordered some connectors and these are 1.25 millimeters JST GH connectors surface mount 2 pins. I think these are ideal for connecting small batteries or other signals to a PCB and JST GH is rated for 1 amp 50 volts uh, and 26 AWG wire size for crimping. And I now realize the metal crimps used uh, for uh, this connector are really small and I can only hope I'm gonna be able to crimp these reliably with my crimp tool. If you don't have a crimp tool or you don't think you're gonna succeed on crimping these uh, I think you can also find some ready-made crimped uh, wires with this kind of connectors so that's an option as well. Now I can already imagine how these uh, nice small connectors will look with uh, Teflon insulated wire and uh, they should look really professional. 
That was all for today. I hope you found something interesting to order in this video. If you did, let me know in the comments below and I would also really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week with a new video.